Good morning. It is July 10th, 2021. There's old La Sombra, filthy. It's going to rain today. It's been raining. Uh, it rained all night. It looks dry right here, but it's not. <laughs> anyway, uh, kind of a crazy thing to do today. Maybe I've got an addiction to motorcycles, but uh, we're going to drive to Omaha, to Ducati, Omaha. It's our open house today, and I hear that Ducatis are beautiful motorcycles, so we're going to go find that out. But uh, forecast says rain, so we're also going to get wet. Guaranteed. Come along for the ride. Yahoo! Well, I made it across the vast farmlands over to uh, Omaha, and uh, this is what I found. Look at this beautiful collection of bikes outside. Ducati Omaha is it's got a pretty nice shop. I'd say it's a uh, medium small size. But look at these beautiful motorcycles outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, inside they were featuring the Multistrada. This right here is the uh, monster, the new monster. It has, it's in the trellis frame, which is a big controversy right now with uh, Ducati. This bike, it's actually kind of a dream bike of mine. It's, you know, over, over 100 horsepower, less than 400 pounds. It's uh, naked. It has uh, beautiful styling. Just absolutely phenomenal looks, in my opinion. There's a lot of controversy because apparently the older model had the uh, trellis frame, and that's now gone. Actually, the frame is almost invisible on this bike. The uh, thing, it's kind of like a, it's incredibly muscular looking. It looks like somebody that's real ripped, you know, around the engine anyway. Um, I love the swing arm. It's got a linked rear suspension, you know. The brakes on it look phenomenal. I love the styling. And those tank covers, the red on the tank, those are actually replaceable. It does have a back seat. That little thing there pops off. I think you have to have a screwdriver. The, uh, now let's see what else we got here. I sat on it. It's very comfortable. It looks tall, but I'm, you know, I've got a 30 inch inseam and not, it, throw a leg over it, it feels normal. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Phenomenal looks. Phenomenal looks. Just loved it. And the dash. Look at that. TFT like a phone, TFT display, and apparently you can change that up. There's different options for that. I didn't get to play with that, but uh, obviously hydraulic clutch, hydraulic brake, everything felt good. You know, the seating position was a little aggressive, but neutral. Look at the quality of those mirror uh, brackets. They're not, they're, they're cast. I just love the fit and finish. Adjustable levers, looks like a flash to pass for the light there. A little cowling. I would need more wind protection than that. But, uh, I think this bike lists for around 12. Like I said, it has about 111 horsepower. And I can't remember the torque number on it, but it was pretty substantial. Liquid cooled. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Phenomenal looks. That pipe down at the bottom, that stands out in these pictures real well, but uh, it's not as visible in real life. This is a, right here is a, one of their race machines. They wanted 37000 for this bike, and they said it was sold. I think this is one of those, I don't know my Italian bikes that well, but I think this is one of those 200-plus horsepower bikes. But these uh, motorcycles, they look like sharks or manta rays. You know, they got, they got, they're low and flat and angular. They got winglets, as you can see them right there. They've got fins. They've got uh, gills and inlets and outlets and, you know, the aerodynamics. You know, I don't know how practical they are, but Ducati Corsa, it says, carbon wheels, you know, the single-sided swing arm, beautiful. The disc brakes, nobody seemed to know what the size they were, but I would bet they're 320 or more on the front anyway. Brimbos, look at the little holes in the back end there. That tire looked hot just sitting there. You know, it's kind of like you go in the garage and the tires look like they're already warm just because of how cool the bike is. Phenomenal looking bike. Just sharp, just sharp. A, a really good time there. You can see the ex Duval in the background there, that bike against the window. That's their cruiser. Okay, here I'm pointing out the suspension, electronic and suspension. Apparently that is continuously adjusting as you go down the road. And you have you, you have your adjustments, then you have the bike making its own adjustments. Another thing about this bike, the foot pegs are uh, movable. There's little blocks in there that you can adjust to move the foot peg up and down or backward and forward. Here's more of that electronic suspension on the front. 
it, it's really a phenomenal thing, more of a piece of art than a motorcycle almost, although I'm sure it's absolutely practical. Well, practical for going very fast. This is their Multistrada. I'll notice right away the uh, radar, it has radar on the front and back, it has blind spot prediction or uh, detection. Again, beautiful brakes. This is actually one of the heavier Ducatis at just over 400 pounds. I can't remember if it was 400 or 450. But the thing here again, very angular, very powerful. I think they said the power was 170 horsepower, 90 some foot pounds of torque. Yeah, the windshield goes up and down with ease. While you're driving it, you can do that. Every bike should be that way. I was just looking at that on the new Pan American. It does the same thing. These bags on the back, they kind of shift back and forth. They're made to move. And the, the guy was saying there's something about aerodynamics that, that's important for way out of my, uh, you know, above my pay grade. I don't know much about it. I was just pointing out the uh, rear sensor for blind spot detection on the back there. The bags do come off. Look at this. Beautiful view here. You know, they call it a multi-strut, and the insinuation is that you'll take it off-road. I, I I would cry if I'd take that thing on gravel. It's just, look at those gills. There's radiators in there, one on each side. Again, this is a V4. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that's an oil cooler in the center. Just fabulous-looking motorcycle. There's the radiator on the left there. I just had my hand. And then those are the blinkers there. The kind of lighty things, those are the blinkers there. Kind of a new new thing for me anyway. Here we talk about, he's showing us the display. It's a rather large display, seven, seven inch I think. But he was going through the, uh, dis, you know, the different things you can do with it. Um, interesting group of people there. In the background here you can see a couple of old guys. They were one of the few. Most people there were middle aged or younger. Um, most were relatively fit people. Uh, I'm a Harley owner, so I can say this. Most Harley riders look like they never miss buffet. Most uh, Ducati riders, at least at this event, look like they never miss gym day. There were a lot of people in relative, and there was a guy eating pizza in the background. Anyway, relatively fit. This I call the White Shark. I'm not sure. You know, like I said, I don't know my, don't know my bikes very well, but this is an absolutely beautiful bike. Look at that lar large shark mouth on the front. Absolutely amazing brakes. Check out that styling. Blinkers in the mirrors. Just phenomenal. And I was looking at their website, and uh, a low-powered Ducati, the lowest I could find was a Scrambler at 75 horse. They may have lower ones, but that's the lowest I could find. But most of these bikes are 150 or more. You know, I I, I think any one of these would be phenomenal, way, way above my riding skill levels. You know, uh, I They talk a lot about the electronics on these motorcycles. Okay, here we are with the Scramblers. These are actually very good looking motorcycles. If you get a chance, if you like Scrambler style, you should definitely go look at these. These in the Triumph are my favorite Scramblers. These look like they're lighter, and I believe they are actually lighter, and they have a little bit more horsepower. At least the 800 Ducatis have more horsepower than the 900 uh, Triumphs. As far as looks goes, I think it really depends on what you're after. I think both are very good looking in their own way. But these bikes are, this these 800s feel very, I think they're under 400 or right at 400 pounds. And uh, the guy walked me through the different models and I, I just don't know enough about them to look at this one. This one has spokes. I think this one, you know, the red frame, the spokes, it's kind of a retro-ish. Well, they're scrambler, so they're all retro. This one behind it has, uh, that one has spokes. The one back in the very back had, uh, and the one right here, the silver one right behind this one, has, uh, looks like cast wheels. I liked sitting on these. The only thing I could fault on these was they didn't have cruise control. And I just think a modern motorcycle, any modern motorcycle, should just should have a, a cruise. This motorcycle actually sold while I was there. And I, I'm not sure what this is, but it was very seductive and alluring, and it uh, really gets your attention. Look at that Ducati. I mean, the, their idea of, they really are a Ferrari motorcycle, so to speak. Look at that bend in that radiator. That's kind of a new thing. I, I've been noticing that this last year or two, and those gorgeous brakes. <laughs>
phenomenal brakes. I know, who gets excited about brakes but me, right? Big old beak on it, but you know what? In real life, it looks great. Again, hydraulic clutch. Look at the bikes in the background. Uh, there will be a lot more there towards the end of the day. But uh, the people I met there, well, they either weren't talkative or they were very talkative. Um, nobody seemed unfriendly, of course. Very, look at that back end. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, the people that were talkative were very proud of their motorcycles, of course, and, and eager to share. I, I had one guy told me his motor, he showed me his motorcycle outside and said I had over 200 horsepower. Asked me if I wanted to ride it, which is, okay, this is the back room. These are all used bikes. Again, kind of a sea of dreams back there, you know, <laughs> used dreams. But look at these beautiful things. Just phenomenal looking machines, phenomenal looking machines. That one right there is just smoking hot. And look at that one. And over there to the right, that, that's a Triumph. <laughs> I think it's a Speed Triple, I, I think. Don't quote me on it. But look at that beautiful red bike. Of course, all the gear you can imagine. Boots, jackets, riding suits. Just phenomenal. And this is a used, uh, I think he said it was two years old, a year old. That's the Duval, I think, is what they call it. That's their cruiser style bike. And it's really quite a thing to see. It looks it looks really large, but when you sit on it, it's small. Well, it isn't small, but it feels small. It's also, it's for a cruiser, it's very light. It might be heavy for a Ducati, but for a normal cruiser, my Honda Shadow weighs 600 pounds. I'm not sure what this one weighs, but I, I would guess it's in the 400s. I'll look it up and put it in the it below. But what lines. Absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. That's the key fob sticking out of the gas tank. Put that in your pocket, of course. Again, there's with those cast mirrors. Hydraulic clutch. I need to get myself a ride on one of them. I'll, I'll try to get myself out there and look at these things again. There again, these are the used bikes again. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. There's that Triumph in the background. Hiding in a sea of Ducati. Just beautiful. This is the very back room, by the way. This is not the main showroom area. Ducati Omaha is on the uh, far end, the west end of Omaha. It's, it's worth, it's not, it's right off the interstate and not too far up, maybe a mile or two. Easy to get to. That, that yellow scrambler right there to the left is gorgeous. Yeah, that Triumph is looking good. Anyway, the, the uh, that scrambler, you know, yellow is a hard color to make a motorcycle look good in, I think, anyway. And the yellow on that scrambler, I would own that. That's a good looking motorcycle. If they had cruise control on their scramblers, I would really have to consider that as the next bike. You'd have to figure out to put wind protection on her, though. Kind of a neat back room, isn't it? Here's one all uh, decked out with some hard luggage. <laughs> Ducati Omaha. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that thing. That's just, it's a wet dream on rubber. I would say virtually every Ducati is a wet dream on rubber. Maybe with the exception of the Scrambler or the Multistrada. They are the ultra sports bike, you know. Very high quality finish. Very, you know, every little detail taken care of. The paints were, uh, Phenomenal. Here's my hand. Look at these cutouts in the tail end. Talk about style. The style is, is if you like that styling, it, it's second to none. And like I said, the bikes look shredded. They just look like an incredibly fit machine. That's aluminum, or, or I think it's aluminum on the top of the tank. Maybe it's stainless steel. Just fabulous looking things. You know, these are the kind of bikes that you could put in the corner and just look at all day. I would be afraid to ride them because I'd be afraid to get them dirty. Look at that shark. I call that a shark mouth, I guess. It's just absolutely gorgeous. That's a Kawasaki on the right, by the way. There's that Duval on the left. Just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. I think that's a Ducati, one of those Stratas, maybe. I could be wrong. But very good looking motorcycle. <clears throat> okay, this is the Duval again. This is the newer one. X Duval, I think. This, look at that large radiator. 
don't know if the radiator carries down or if that's an oil cooler down below, but uh, just absolutely, I use that word a lot, absolutely. Just Anyway, anyway very beautiful machine. Robot looking front end. That I, I get a kick out of the uh, backrest on the seat. I was, I was very impressed with Ducati Omaha. Uh, the people were very friendly. It was kind of funny for the event they were feeding us pizza. You know, look at look at that look at that rear end. Look at that swing arm, the belt drive. This is another bike. Again, the main feature: those massive brakes, those fins, the the shark mouth. You know, here we've got the winglets. They say they're for downforce. Very beautiful motorcycle. That's a very dark picture, sorry about that. Okay, now look at this from this side. Just absolutely sexy. One sided swing arm with the disc brake, the pipes under the seat, you know, all that cast and chrome. Well, it's not chrome, cast and ionized. And look at that engine, just phenomenal. Look at the sculpting of the bodywork, the winglets on the side. I don't know what, if that's what Ducati calls them, but I'm calling them that. But, Engine's frame is is part of the frame. I assume this has that electronic suspension stuff again. It's got the steering dampener, this sculpted tank. I don't know what these like are like to ride on, but they're absolutely beautiful. I call this fighter bike row up front. We were all kind of laughing about that. This guy owned uh, both of these, the two center red ones. <clears throat> And I think he said this one right here had over, I, I can't remember, I think he said 216, maybe maybe meant 267, but yeah, it was a lot of horsepower. I think it was a 1299cc bike. This was the smaller of the two. I think his son was riding that. Very nice fellow. Very, uh, I wish I'd have got his name. He, he was new to the area. Came from Pennsylvania, I think. But just a beautiful pair of bikes. Phenomenal looking things. Well, hey, appreciate y'all listening to me yap away here. I would say that if uh, you like these kind of motorcycles, go to Ducati Omaha and look at them. Very good people, very friendly people. I enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, get out there and ride. Enjoy it while you can. Life is short. There's things to do and things to see. There it is, the beautiful monster. Y'all take care. Wahoo!